Okay, so I've got a fresh scene here with a two meter cube in it and we need to make sure that we have our measure tool active. So we just click on it, click on the icon over here on the left hand side of the screen. Now I can left click and drag in my scene and I get a, a measurement segment like that. Now if I press X, it'll immediately delete it. Now I'm gonna press control and the starting point of the line will snap to vertices. So if I drag out like that, it'll now snap to the to the vertices of the cube whilst holding control. So if I press X again, it'll delete. Now I can press control again and left click and drag, produce the same line like that. Now I can click anywhere on this segment and it'll give me an angle. Now again, if I press control, it will snap to vert like that and give me the angle there. Uh, now, if I say control, uh, hold control, click on a vert, drag, left click, drag out, and then if I release control and then press shift, it'll give me a depth measurement. I'll press X again. Now, if we click on our cube, and make sure the cube's active and we press uh, say a tab to go into edit mode uh, let's let's subdivide our cube like that uh, and you'll notice when we're in edit mode if you come up to the top right hand corner of the viewport the 3d viewport there is now mesh edit mode drop down here which gives us access to mesh edit mode overlays. And from here, we can activate edge lengths, face area, edge angle, and face angles, which is all quite useful. Now, if I select, say, if we go to edge selection mode, select two edges like that, uh, we can, if you have, the add-on activated. So if you go into edit, uh, click on preferences, um, there's a, an add-on called 3D View Measure It, which comes with Blender. You don't need to download it, you just need to activate it. Uh, and once it's activated, it should be available over here in the View tab. If we just drag this out a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, and it's down there. Let's uh, collapse some of these so we can see a bit better. Now from this menu, uh, I can click on segment and then show, and it'll show me measurements for those two selected edges. Uh, this, is, uh, this is kind of useful information, but if we go into say like a vertex selection mode and I click uh, make a selection like that. Make sure we've just got those two verts selected there. Um, press segment again. It'll give me the distance between those two verts and not and ignore that vert in the middle. And likewise, we can sort of like maybe select the corners like that. In fact, like that. Uh, and again, press segment, and it'll give me a measurement between those two verts and ignore what's in between them.